Hey, this boat, we didn't leave. Here we go. Two videos in one day? What you know about being a YouTuber hater? Today we're going to talk about our top 10 Funko Pops of 2020. So the rules are, the pop had to come out in 2020. It doesn't have to be in your possession yet. I'm going to let Dia do her 10, and then I'll do my 10. Are they supposed to be in order? No. Okay. Uh, comment down below uh, if what your favorite Funko Pop of this year was. Subscribe if you're new here. Hi, my name's Kevin. I'm saying this out of order. Uh, share the video. Comment down below. I said that. Leave a like. Dia, just what are your 10? I'm going to stand in the back here, ashamed. First is this one. You like that? It is called Minnie Mouse. It's from Halloween and she's a witch. I like it because it's black and white and then it's got the splash of orange. Number two, not in order still. Hey, look who it is. Everybody's favorite villain, Pegasus. Check out that, uh, uh, what's it called? I don't know, I didn't watch the show in years. Eyeball, Millennium Eye, <laughs> I think. This one I got, I was looking for Kevin, but he sold out on Box Lunch, so I got this instead. I don't know which it's one. It's Yzma. Oh, this one of my favorite ones. Put him at the top. This is number two of the year. Slightly annoyed that I was chilling in the garden. This is the best Funko Pop of the year, actually. Just kidding. It's the second best. The first best. I bet you want to know. You have to stay tuned. Who else do I like? Remember Kevin? When I mentioned Kevin? It's Kevin. Not this Kevin, but this Kevin. What number is that? These moves three, four, five. Guys, we're halfway there. Halfway to finding out what the number one Funko Pop of the year is. Bro, Zerg, nothing said, nothing else needs to be said. It's the alien at Zerg though, not actual Zerg. Sully, alien, not the 20 inch one that's too big. It's 10 inch. Too big still. Okay. This is the baby one, not the baby keychain one, but the baby medium one. Bet you thought I was done with the anime. Guess what? I'm not. Karuma, demon form. I love Karuma. I love One Piece. Look at them rose petals. Yeah. You know how everybody was wanting that mask of Chaka and she was like $400? I got her. I found her in a random comic book shop. Mask of Chaka, but as a rabbit, my melody. There you go. Cheap. I think it was like $12. Oh my That's God. Still. Are you down to your Honorable last one? mention yeah. of a uh, big middle finger to this pop alien is woody why come on why is it that big why is it that who's big? got space for that who doing that bro when was woody 10 I, I literally hate this come on bro but i got it anyway just because i wanted all the toy story ones but why would they do that she, she make, a small, make, a, small make a small one make a small one make a small one all right and now the um, is this number one yes the number one pop of the year that's right you guessed it you guessed it. It's Sleepy Donald. Oh. He's sleeping. He's cute. Look how cute. I love him. That's my top 10 Funko Pops of 2020. There's more, but you can only do 10. I feel like you did 11. Another honorable mention. Nope. You skate Demon Boy. <laughs> Now that we've gotten through that, we'll talk about my top 10 favorite Funkos of the year in no specific order. So starting out at number 10, pairing these two together, it's the Mad Hatter and the Cheshire Cat from the Mad Tea Party. They both came out this year and they're both part of the same exact ride. If you were to display them, you would display them together. So it's my list. I did it. For number nine, I have a lesson in the force, which was from a Galacticon this year. And it shows Yoda lifting the X-Wing from the swamp in Dagobah. And I just think this pop is very well detailed. And the fact that the stand for the X-Wing is actually the water pouring out of the X-Wing and just having little Yoda right there like this. It, I just think this pop is incredible. 
and I'm very happy to have it in my collection. Number eight on my list is going to be the entire Avengers Assemble collection. Um, Amazon dropped these, and just from the beginning, I knew it was going to be dope, so I figured I would get them, and I did, and putting them all together, it looks so good. Number seven, I have Pepita from Coco, which was a box launch exclusive, and it glows in the dark. This pop looks so good, and I remember looking at Coco and thinking, that should be a Funko Pop. It took a little bit, but we finally got Pepita. Number six is the Kraken from the Myths and Legend line. Such a surprise that I even got this thing, but I'm very happy I did. Um, it sold out on the Funko Shop like this, but the details on it, the paint on it looks dope. Uh, the boat being in its hand is a fantastic detail and it just looks great. Number five, we have Bakugo from San Diego Comic-Con this year. Just the action pose that he's in and it captures his character so well and the pop just looks good. Number four is Walt with the Sleeping Beauty Castle. I spoke about it previously in the last video, so make sure you go check it out. I love this pop, very detailed. Finally got a Walt Disney pop, fantastic. What? Number three is another thing that should have been a two pack this year and it came from New York Comic Con. Luke and Leia. Uh, I don't know why they did it's like, I'm just kidding. It's Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. These guys just translated so well into Funko Pops and they're dope, and I can't wait to put them with the rest of the SpongeBob line. Uh, people complain about, like, Barnacle Boy, but I think Barnacle Boy looks exactly like Barnacle Boy. Mermaid Man looks better than Barnacle Boy, but either way, they look fantastic together, and I'm very happy that they're starting to do not obscure characters from SpongeBob, but characters that you wouldn't expect them to do Funko Pop stuff. So hopefully down the line we get... Larry. I was going to say we get Larry. Maybe we get Pearl, Miss Puff. The Krusty Krab is a pop town. That would be dope. So I'm glad the SpongeBob. Yeah, yeah. Get a plankton pop. And they can tell you like the Pinocchio Cricket, and um, that's it. What's the you Pinocchio know, Cricket's name? Anything, Jiminy. Yeah, you thought. And the alien dogs from Men in Black. Yeah. That's so you would pair. You can make a new Mr. Crab mold and then put plankton with that one. No, just get an entire box. Just get an entire we, big box and just make a little plankton this get big. A ten inch box or what's that? Whatever size the biggest one is. And Eighteen put, inches. This tiny little plankton in there. That would be funny. Hurt. It number would be wasteful, but yeah, go ahead. Go num ahead. Number two is the Gringotts Dragon uh, with Harry, Ron, and Hermione on the top. This pop oh. came out so well, and it's a very dope scene from the movie. And if you're a fan of Universal Studios, there's a ride in which this scene comes to fruition and it's right in front of your face and you're like, ah, the Green Gosh Dragon. And then on top of that, on top of the bank at Universal Studios, the dragon's there and he blows fire out. So it'll always remind me of the memories that I have in that park and of the movie. So it's just a really good pop regardless. So I'm very happy to not have it in my collection I yet. Say, but I, I, <laughs> I pre-ordered it. And then I canceled the pre-order because I figured we should move before I start buying more Funkos. So it's coming down the line, but you know, that's number two. Number one, like I said, this is in no order, but it's the Korra pop where she has all the elements around her. I don't like Legend of Korra. I lasted two seasons and bailed out, but I can appreciate when a pop looks dope. And this is one of those. And that's it. Top 10 Funko Pops of 2020. Ready? Strike a pose. There, there we go. Leave a comment down below which one of these was your favorite. Comment down below if Dia should come back on the channel because right now she's not looking too good. Yeah. Share the video. Like it if you don't mind. I'm Subscribe fine. if you're new here. And welcome to the neighborhood. See you in the next year. See you in the next neighborhood. I, you said it again. This, yeah, I know, I know. Bye.